this long wait is finally over. We have reached final day in this competition. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith to give you the commentary. It should be a very, very special match. Benfica against Porto. Yeah, two teams that have been extremely watchable throughout this tournament. Two teams that have scored goals, excited the fans. No wonder it's a full house here. Can't wait for this one. These two players, perhaps we picked out as the likely candidates to keep a special eye on, Alan Smith. I love watching this pair play. They haven't disappointed this season. They've been the most threatening players for me, for both their teams. This is the team Benfica are going to field today. Grimaldo starts alongside Andre Almeida in defence. Tizzi starts alongside Rafa in midfield. And it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. And here is the team news for Porto. Two banks of four. 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. Well, this is always the great moment. The ball's on the centre spot and we're all ready to go. Vigel. Ruben Diaz. Pizzi. Andre Almeida could whip it in from here. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Uribe. It's Musa Marega. Turnover of possession here. Now there is some space in the wide area. Pizzi. Almeida. A return ball. He's got support in the centre. Punched away by the keeper. Diaz. It's Musa Marega. Uribe. Oliveira. Probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes. They've gone wide, chance to get the ball in the box. Keeping the ball, looking for an opening. Gets his cross in. Just too high, just over with the header. Yeah, nice firm connection, unlucky. Weigel, Harapt, it's with Grimaldo, Adel Tarapt, Rafa, it's Ruben Diaz, Julian Weigel, Pizzi, comes to get it to feet, he's come rather deep to do that, the main striker, it's about finding the right pass now. wide they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively Diaz Alex Teles he might have put his teammate in here we could get across in here brilliant technique in the tackle Almeida, Pizzi, Andre Almeida.
Rafa. Did well, stuck out a foot, cut off the pass. Floated in, back post, put away, but not out of harm's way. And it's gone out for a throw. Julian Weigel. Ruben Diaz. It's Ruben Diaz. Andre Almeida. Pizzi. Made a quick interception. Uribe. Patient play from them. Sergio Oliveira. Oliveira. Uribe. Octavia. Play back. Oliveira. Diaz. Sergio Oliveira. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. Some of the fans there thinking that should be a corner, but it's a throw. He's won it back, easily. Suarez. Parat. Ruben Diaz. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this. Very good piece of work by the goalkeeper to turn that away from danger. Now Suarez, Alex Teles. Suarez. Can find some space here on the flanks. The has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. Alex Teles. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Octavia. Terrific atmosphere in the first half of the final of the Tassa Portuguesa, no surprise in that. And perhaps no surprise with two very good sides going for it here that they are level at the break. We're very nearly at the end of this particular story and the dramatic story it's been. Which club is going to hold aloft the Tassa Portuguesa? Portuguese domestic cup. Second half is now underway. Oliveira, Uribe. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up, but they're keeping the ball well. Yeah, look at that possession. It has been a cagey affair so far. Quite often in these kind of matters, it does open up as the game goes on. Will that be the case here? Now he's got the ball back. Pizzi. Adel Tarant. Weigel. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Danger was looming large, but they've got themselves back on the ball. Corona. Uribe. Octavio. Lusa Marek. Can they move on from this wide area where there is room? Really strong play in the tackle. With great vision here. Gets the ball out wide with time to assess the situation. Parat. It's with Grimaldo. Still on the lookout for that chance to open up the opposition. And the defender is there to clear it. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? A couple of teammates up in support. That's a shame. 
because in the end, that will go down as a poor cross, really. Diaz. And Fika, now the team in possession. Andre Almeida, his teammates have recognised the potential of this attack. Porto, ready to use somebody from the bench. Substitution now. Pixie. Julian Weigel. Almeida. a fine tackle well there's going to be a substitution now Otavio Musa Marega now Danilo Pereira that's a great interception neatly intercepted Octavia. Now Danilo Pereira. Well, they are moving the ball well here. Here's uh, Danilo Pereira. Octavia. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. This could be promising. Maybe he'll cross it here. Still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Sergio Oliveira. Oh, they've lost the ball. Read the play well to intercept. Oh, well, still no goals here. And only five minutes left. Grimaldo, Ruben Diaz, very skilled, these passes may look easy, but the uh, work off the ball is very important. Doesn't want to lose it here. Now Danilo Pereira, Oliveira. It could be on in this attack, they've got men over to try and get a winning goal. They were right at the opposition then, but it's broken down disappointingly. Crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Rafa. Next on the agenda then, extra time. have had their say both teams back on their feet they were looking rather tired as we waited for extra time which now begins Almeida Servi Andre Almeida Ruben Diaz Ronaldo. Trying 
get involved, I think, the forward by coming this deep to get on the ball. Excellent interception. Alex Teles. Now Suarez. Trying to find an opportunity. Can go in from here. Well, that's relieved some of the pressure as the defender clears his lines out of play. Nakajima. Oliveira. a chance with this tackle this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now two minutes of added time what it says on the board and the manager is going to make a change here well this is where the space is at the moment on the flanks period of extra time is over 15 minutes still to go and the possibility of penalties just 15 minutes left now the second period of extra time Kajima. Weigel. Ruben Diaz. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Almeida. They've gone wide. Chance to get the ball in the box. Good clearance. Rafa. Now Grimaldo. Players arriving in the middle. Up for grabs here. And all that we've got left in this second period of extra time is six minutes. Here's uh, Danilo Pereira. Suarez. Porto pushing on here, getting men forward. It's a wasted opportunity, but it's a brilliant interception at a vital time. Now, can they move on from this wide area where there is room? And rushing across to take the corner, not much time left, looking for a winner. it goes. Keeper goes for the punch from the corner. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the putt. It is the penalty shootout. Great to watch, but not too uh, easy to partake in, I'm sure. First man up is ready to go. Somehow he saved it. Here's the next penalty taker. All on the side of the bar, but it flew into the net. Gets away with it just. Great 
good save. Ready to go. The next penalty taker. The keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. Oh, he's wasted it. Oh, you feel for him, but it wasn't a good effort at all. Up he comes for the penalty. Nearly, nearly hit the frame of the goal and came out again, but it's in. Yeah, he must have been worried for a second, but no, he's done the job. Well, the goalkeeper knows that if he can keep this one out, his side have won. But the penalty taker can keep his side in. Well, he scored in the shootout. It's potentially the match-winning penalty. A goal, and the game is theirs. And he's put it away to get the winning penalty. Well, it can look easy, can't it? And he's made it look easy there. Great attention on Portuguese football these days, and rightly so. And on this particular team, they are the winners of the Tassa Portuguesa, their domestic cup competition. And very fine winners too, as it's turned out. So up they step for the souvenirs. Small trinkets, really, but they mean so much. Well, there's only so many trophies on offer during the course of the season. That's why it does mean so much for any footballer to be in this position, to, to be on that podium. Wonderful stuff. Such a fantastic feeling to win any football match, but to win one when there's major silverware at stake uh, almost defies description. I think they'd be delighted as well, Mike. In fact, they played well over the course of the final, that 90 minutes when they really did have to show what they've got. They responded to the challenge, and that makes it all the more satisfying. Well, it's quite a scene here. Suddenly, having looked tired towards the end of the game, they've found remarkable energy. Yeah, they'll keep going all night now, I'm sure of that. The adrenaline will be pumping. Great team, great result. Well, up they go. And memories that will live with them for the rest of their lives. To win this tournament it means for those players. No wonder the bounce is back in them. Well, you've got all your family up in the stands. I'll be watching down proudly, and certainly will be a huge feeling of pride within that team. Why not? We thoroughly deserve winners. Beautifully staged the final as well. And more to come with these... Uh, match fireworks they provided the fireworks on the pitch a terrific team and for them a place in the history books time to enjoy time to celebrate